All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper and prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. A welcome to another midweek blessing. I wanted to read that passage to you. It's from Acts chapter 2. It describes the early church, the church right after Jesus ascended to the Father. The church that was immediately uh, after the most momentous event in the history of mankind, uh, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the beginning of his church uh, when the apostles, Jesus' followers, were teaching others what Jesus had taught them. And this describes what that church looked like. And I want to suggest to you today that while the details of the church will look different for sure, uh, the feel of the church is intended to be much the same. That the church is certainly not a building, though we often meet in one. And the church is not something we primarily belong to, although church membership is important. It's important to have a church home. I think first and foremost, the church is intended to be a family with all of the wrinkles and warts and joys that a family has. A church is intended to be a place where people serve one another. They, they serve those that need served and they are served by those that need to serve them. A church is intended to be a place that people share. They share their time, they share their finances, they share their abilities. A church is intended to be a place for hurting people to find healing, uh, for lost people to be saved for all the people in the church to pray for one another and with one another, to, to laugh and to sing together, to, to listen and to study and to learn together, to grow together. And I just want to encourage you, whatever church you're a part of, a member of, that you would step in a, a bit further than that, besides being an attender, uh, a participator, uh, even a member, that you would consider the church your family and that you would invest in your church family in the same way that you invest in your regular family, your immediate family, even your extended family, that you would not be content just participating, just consuming, but you would discover the lifelong joy, and I mean that, the lifelong joy that comes in finding a church home and making your home for years and years and years and years, to discover the both the pain and the joy that comes with knowing people at a deep, deep level, of walking through them uh, with difficult times and joyful times, seeing children born, seeing them graduate from high school, get married and have kids, walking people through life's tragedies and life's beautiful moments, to have lifelong friends that have one thing in common, and that is Jesus Christ. I would encourage you to not be satisfied with just participating in a church building, but that you would seek something much more important, much more beneficial to the Lord's kingdom, and that is becoming part of the church family, to submit yourself to a church, uh, to enjoy serving at your church, to allow your church to serve you, to jump in with both feet, to give up some other things that you'll have to give up to make time to find a church family like this. I want to just encourage you, it is worth every bit of investment you make in a church family. Find a good church who believes that the scriptures are true that preaches Christ and Him crucified. And then jump in with everything you have. Give that church everything you have and let it give to you as well. Take a look at this passage from Acts chapter two sometime. Just read it a few times and let the, let the idea of what that church looked like sink into your heart and to your mind. And then just ask the Lord to show you what He might have you do uh, when it comes to your church how your church might become your family, your church family. Till next time, peace friends.